Okay. Pretty good lift out here again today. A lot of wind. Alright. Let's go out here and fly around a bit. Been around here to see if I can see David. Not sure where he went. There he is, he's way ahead of me. Pretty, uh, Pretty uh, bouncy out here, or doing a lot of oscillating. Three hundred feet, about twenty-six miles an hour. Better hang on to a few things here. We're getting a little, little windy, a little bounced around here. All right, we're over here in West Lafayette. Today's the, uh, boy, today's Friday the 13th. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, getting a lot of lift out here. Up here about 400 feet. About 478 feet. Uh, south, which is coming out of the northeast, east, northeast, and we are heading pretty much south. It's calmed down a little bit right in this area. It's usually a little bumpy over in this area. We get over here by these hills. Disconnect my trim there. Call it my micro trim. I'm about uh, 387 feet. David's probably 100 feet down. He's probably around two something. drop down a little bit, see what it's like down here on the lower end. Beautiful day. Gust up to about 10, and oh, there's some 11s. It's supposed to pick up later tonight. Rain's supposed to come in. David's over there buzzing the tractor. I think he thinks that tractor's sexy. He's checking it out. Yeah, it's smoothed out a little bit here. Can let go of everything and just kind of cruise. And if we start pulling to the right, uh, I'll just kick in the little trim here. I adjusted it before I took off today. Let's see how it's doing here. You have to pull it a certain way. To, there you go. To get it to go where you want it to go. Nice and green out here. We've had a lot of rain. Over here in Plainville, Plainfield, Plainfield, Ohio. Nice, quiet little area. Nice and quiet until the, until the PPG guys come out here and make a bunch of noise.
I think I lost David again. Yeah, I'm not sure where David went. He's probably up in the sun doing a dive bomb on me. You can smell the chemicals they're spraying down there on the field. Catching the turbulence again over here. And there's David, he's old. back over to LZ. He's about uh, 2.8 miles away in the LZ. Doing about 27 miles an hour, we're about uh, 342 feet, uh, 5100 RPM. Are heading into the wind, or just pretty much into the wind. Yeah, according to that flag, right down to the right on the green elevator. So oh, there's a lift. That was a big one. There's a lot of it right there. Uh, wind's coming uh, off to my right side. It should smooth out a little bit. As soon as I say that, it bounces. Should smooth out once we get a fast these hills right here. You using this uh, trim here, really? Uh, this micro trim. There's another name for it, but uh, it really is nice when you can get it set in and. Not have to hang on to the brakes all day long. Of course, when it starts getting wobbly like it is right now, you gotta grab on and kind of stop it from. David flying his dolphin nose strike. Told him he needs to put some eyeballs on it. It's a big grizzly teeth, like shark teeth. The wind sock looked like it changed a little direction on us, which wouldn't be bad. Looks like it might be coming straight down our own way. Been flying for about uh, See. 35 minutes. Yeah, get caught up in David's wake there. Yeah, you can see the front end just uh, wobbling all over here. Four hundred and eighty five feet. 25 miles an hour. He's probably looking for me. Hey, I don't know if he has a beer, if he still has his beer and can see me up here or not. There's a hawk. Just flying around. We'll go down here low by the runway and do some passes and see what it's like down low here. They were about uh, 20, well, it says 25 feet, but I know that isn't right. Or, I'm sorry, 70 feet, which might be pretty close. 26 miles an hour. It's in the uh, 80s, probably the low 80s, 83 maybe, t-shirt weather today. Woo! And there goes David. Uh, 
you know, windsock over here really moving, and you got these flags over here on the flagpole, they're just barely wiggling. There comes Tom. He's got his Cosmos dual seater. Just thermaline on these hills right here. Got all these buzzards in front of me. Wait for David to land, and I'm going to go ahead and land into the wind coming over the bushes. Got to watch out for the wires. You can see that his wing fell forward. Oh. I didn't want to take off from out there. 